She says she isn't a doctor. She says she isn't a general, but they sure treat her like one. All of her comrades wear her creations proudly, but she doesn't wear any of her own. In the rest of the world, cybernetic enhancements are um, subtle, discreet, shameful even. Here among the rebels, they are badges of honor. The word cyborg is an honorific. This is the only place I know of where that is true. Some of the rebels even believe their prosthetics are the most real part of them. And they look forward to the day when they can become whole. She's also the only leader that can claim any victory against this world's mysterious invaders. Only she has stood this long in defiance. This outpost stands, this strange community of bionic misfits. She leads them. She protects them. When we talk, she adjusts her glasses compulsively, clears her throat every time she's about to correct me. And in the rare instances when she laughs, she snorts. Her eye is, is meticulous. She is a, a designer, an engineer, but they treat her like a queen. And today, a pair of lovers lay on her table and go under her knife. This story is theirs. the horizon as the sky filled with shards of ice we stood under the veneer of safety the waking dream and nothing could change even as the clouds of ash gathered even as the world began to rearrange get your things get into the car the leg that leapt over the hungry chasms in the street as we race from the coming storm on aching tired and organic feet days later where we found our safety we found a mechanic as well we were in dire need of an upgrade she had what we needed to get out of hell are needed to survive this war but our bodies are not who we are our bodies are not who we are our bodies are not who we are not who we are no oh, oh, oh. no oh, oh, oh. these days wake up to news an understatement to call it grim every morning i feel farther away every part of me is a phantom limb when you wake up and draw back the curtains i see the freshly disturbed ground where we buried our former selves behind the shores of puget sound so close to the future from the past so far but our bodies are not who we are our bodies are not who we are our bodies are not who we are not who we are heart we can build one or take one apart 
why fix a broken heart? We can build one or take one apart. Why fix a broken heart? We can build one or take one apart. And that's where we'll start.